Let's talk about cordless drill transmissions and clutches for a second. For the longest time I had no idea how these clutches work. And then I started taking drills apart for stuff and I figured I'd better find out. So this is a, what I would consider a fairly typical drill drivetrain. Now let's bust into this thing and I'll uh, show you my understanding of how the clutch works. To get the chuck off of one of these, this is a Black & Decker unit. Um, what I had to do is uh, there's a hex headed screw down inside here that's left hand thread. So open the chuck up, get down there with your hex drive, or Allen key or whatever, and um, back that out. And then the chuck itself is proper right hand thread. We unscrew that bad boy. And then the uh, clutch unit. The clutch unit is screwed down here. And uh, make sure you're doing this. If you want to keep it working, make sure you're doing this over some sort of like a big towel or something. So you don't lose all the parts out of it when you take this off. Because there's a whole assortment of uh, big spring, washers, little washers. But more importantly, in all these little holes, there are ball bearings. And I'll show you what those are for in a sec. So here's the transmission separated. As you can see, motor with the pinion pressed onto the shaft. Goes into this planetary reduction unit. Drives these three gears here against the outer case. And it spins around in there. Which turns the other side of it. There's the other three gears on this side here. Which in turn, couple to the output shaft here which goes out to the chuck. Now, what I found out is if you see these teeth here, these bumps on this big outer casing, these bumps on the casing here are the clutch. That's the heart of the clutch. So what happens is that goes in here. So the ball bearings go down these little holes and nest against these bumps. And the spring and all these washers and junk, the spring and washers and junk, push the ball bearings down against these notches. And as long as this case stays stationary, and held there by the ball bearings pressure, the inside part will spin and drive the output shaft. But when, you, when you're using the clutch and you fetch up on something or you, you hit the limit of the clutch, uh, these bumps will push up against the, the washer and spring system and this part spins instead of the output shaft. It's really very clever and a lot simpler than I thought it was going to be. So what you're doing with your torque ring and your clutch ring is you're just varying the amount of pressure that the spring is putting on the ball bearings and uh, how much pressure is on those equals how much resistance it takes to to bump them up over these little notches equals uh, how much clutch you have dialed in. So uh, there's your lesson in stuff you didn't actually care about. Leave your questions or comments in the, uh, the who's he what's it underneath. Have a good day.